Hey everyone, welcome back. This will be part two of modifications made to Sumo uh, KTM 790 Adventure R. Let's get started. The KTM 790 Adventure R comes with plastic hand guards and one of the items that I saw uh, people putting early reviews on this uh, bike indicated that those plastic hand guards broke uh, the first time uh, that they dumped the bike somewhere in an off-roading situation. So I decided early on that I wanted to change the hand guards out for something that was more durable. As you can see here, I purchased the uh, KTM uh, hand guards, uh, but when they re I received them, they came as just bare aluminum. It appears they were uh, clear anodized. And I didn't like the look of that on the bike since everything else is uh, black in nature. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and got etching primer and used that etching primer on the uh, aluminum parts as you can see here uh, up in here and the spacer and the actual guard itself that comes around and went ahead and sprayed that with the etching primer and then consequently with some flat black paint that matched the handlebar. I think in the end that came out looking uh, pretty nicely. Another thing is, is that they shipped with uh, what I would consider kind of inferior uh, plastic hand guards, and I didn't really like the look of those. Uh, they just look kind of cheap in comparison to the ones that originally came with it. So I went ahead and customized the hand guards. I went ahead and took the original plastic hand guards that came with the bike and cut them off uh, right in here. And as you can see, I cut it off right in here. And then I also cut the very end of it off right here. And so what I did is went ahead and drilled through the aluminum and attached the original hand plastic hand guards uh, pieces of it and then went ahead and installed it on the bike. And to be able to use the original uh, mounting point uh, into the end of the uh, handlebar, you had to use this uh, little piece of uh, end of the plastic to make that all mount uh, go in. Uh, but it worked out really well and I think it made for a really nice uh, looking mount that is a lot uh, sturdier than what the original plastic ones were. Another thing that I customized on the bike is this little feature right here on the front of the bike. Uh, there is a plastic piece that originally comes with the bike that kind of covers that uh, screw uh, hole up there in front there that's used to mount the headlight shield. But I use that instead to create a custom action camera mount. I just used a piece of aluminum and the same thing with the hand guards. I just uh, sprayed it with uh, etching primer and flat uh, black paint and went ahead and put the mount up here for an action camera in front of the bike. So you can use that mounting screw for other things other than just the headlight uh, shield. Another feature I put on is this little uh, master cylinder cover for the rear brake. Um, KTM's put it back in a, a location where it's unlikely to get hit in the first place, but I thought just a little bit of insurance uh, to help cover that won't hurt anything at all. And it adds just a little bit of bling, maybe more than anything, to the bike. One of the things I added to the bike uh, to protect the luggage is this little pad here that covers the muffler. What that pad is, is for uh, plumbers, it's a uh, propane torch uh, pad that allows you to uh, solder in, in around uh, studding in construction work to keep the fire from torching the wood studs or in uh, home building. But that item made for a really inexpensive uh, heat shield to protect my luggage. Uh, when you spend a lot of money on your luggage, last thing you want to do uh, is burn a hole through it. If I recall right, this fabric was only about $14. A really nice feature that KTM has added to the KTM 790 Adventure series is this reversible brake uh, pad. Uh, you can turn it up so it sits higher if you're standing up and lower if you're riding uh, the bike uh, seated. I uh, decided uh, early on that I was going to try it in the up position and see how that worked for me and that worked uh, quite well so I've left that in the up position whether I'm seated or standing. Uh, just a word of caution though, I found out uh, when I took the bike in for service that they could see 
on the uh, computer system that I had drugged that brake a little bit with that in the up position. So it's something to be concerned about, uh, that you just be cautious that you're not resting your foot on it uh, and dragging your uh, rear brake. Another thing is I've thought about this item and it would be really nice if KTM had a feature where it was spring-loaded where you could pull this out, rotate it down, and snap it back in in the uh, down position and do the reverse, pull it back out, rotate it around, and have the spring snap it back into the up position. That would be a real easy uh, feature to redesign. It would just take a new lever arm and uh, a new pad system to make it so that that's completely adjustable so that if you were mostly on pavement, you could put it in the down position for a seated riding position. And if you're off-road, go ahead and turn it in the up position. And it would be just a super, super feature. Hopefully KTM will hear me out on that one. Well, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I've been able to bring you some uh, helpful information that will help you uh, outfit your bike uh, that suits your needs and uh, your adventures. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That's really helpful. And even more so if you'd hit that subscribe button, that'll help me keep bringing uh, videos your way. Thanks again. Have a great day.